screenshot was sent to me and I wish I knew your name honey because I definitely would tag you in the video but uh, you got on Twitter your last name is Riley and you sing I have no reason to fear with JJ who was a friend and brother of mine for the last almost 30 years and uh, you were making various comments about the people that were um, performing not performing but ministering at uh, Kayla C. Evans home going number one you have about 3,000 followers and you're up and coming you're young you're a baby in this thing and you never know who's watching you and so it was very very uh, I'm gonna say ignorant of you to post anything uh, negative about uh, a celebration of life for a 32 year old who fought uh, to live as hard as Kayla Evans um, so I, I wish I, I could go back to the screenshot and and uh, and, and get your name because I would tag you because one thing people do they're very very uh, they're cowardly on social media and if anybody knows me uh, what I'm not is a coward so uh, I, um, I don't know your name if anybody knows your name they can hit you and you can come on in and you can redeem yourself but number one you sing with uh, JJ it's very 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 uh, disrespectful for you to go on and um, dis uh, say very negative things about the musicians who were playing the singers who were singing and um, things of that nature especially hey JJ um, just I'm glad you joined uh, because now your screenshots and your private Twitter uh, uh, thing that you did, it has gone, uh, people are talking about it. Uh, and so by you being an up and coming young lady in a community that you want to be uh, known in, it was very disrespectful for you to go. And while people are grieving and trying to celebrate uh, the life, a uh, well-lived life, um, it was very, very disrespectful for you to go and say anything about anybody who was singing anything about anybody who was playing especially if you were not on um the bill or, or, or the program i understand you made a comment that they asked you and you all would have come and sing but nevertheless we did not see your face you weren't on there so obviously it, it, it wasn't a great enough request because you weren't there and um um I saw the comment that you made about me uh, saying thought that was going to flip the church. Oh, no, I didn't think it was going to flip the church. That wasn't my job. My job was to be an encouragement to my sister of almost 30 years, uh, Dr. Fondrea Lynn Lewis. So your comments weren't merited. It wasn't the time. It wasn't the place. Even for people making negative comments about the funeral. It's so insensitive. And social media has become a place where people have grown body parts that they've never had because what you forget is you'll see those people in person but as a person who was on stage with the great J.J. Harrison somebody that I've known for 30 something years and for you to be on stage representing him but to be dogging everybody out and talking about the musicians were horrible it just just it's just not good and one thing that we have forgotten as mothers in Zion because I am a mother in Zion I am 50 getting ready to be 56 years old and you I'm, I understand you're very young. We do not correct. We commend when we should be correcting. And so I want to give you a word of wisdom. Until you get uh, to where God is going to take you, uh, you should keep your mouth closed and celebrate. Even when things may not be perfect. Even when somebody may play a wrong note. Even when somebody may sing an off thing. Even if somebody may say something that does not agree with your spirit. Sometimes it's better for you to just let a spirit of hush fall upon you than to make negative comments and you have 3,000 uh, uh, followers when others have 40 and 35 and 50 and 100,000 and millions of followers uh, and most of us don't even know who you are so just a word of wisdom the Bible says he that humbleth himself shall be exalted and he that exalteth himself shall be made low just a word to the wise of you all up and coming artists I'm not trying to be an artist I didn't ask for no followers honey I just I'm just I am who I am and I be who I be and God did the rest but for those of you all who want people to call your name who want your name to be in lights the thing that you need to do is remain low and remain humble so I don't know your name again JJ knows your name I'm, I'm sure some other people know your name I know your last name is Riley and if I can remember your first name I would have tagged you personally because I'm not one that gets on social media and I 
hide behind or I make subliminal posts. If I'm going if I'm going to call you out, I'm going to call you out. And this is not calling you out uh because I'm big and bad, but this is just to teach you uh that everything that is done in the dark is going to come to the light. My mama used to say if it doesn't uh if it, if if it doesn't uh come out in the wash, it's going to come out in the rinse. So you got to be careful who you put your name on because you don't know who's related to who, you don't know who supports who, you don't know who has your next deal or contract or your next engagement in their hand. So keep that and and as a food of thought uh, uh, and let and, and let that and let that rest in your mind and in your heart all day. I love you all and I, and I'll see you on the other side. Yes, her name is Lauren Lauren Riley at Lauren Riley. That's who I, I'm talking about, you baby. God bless your heart. Uh, but somebody DM'd me or sent no, they didn't DM me. I'm sorry. They texted me the comment that you made about me. I care if not because I've been in this industry longer than you've been alive. And if I never have another uh, engagement, I'm fine and I'm going to be all right. All right. So God bless you. God bless you all. I love y'all and have an amazing day. And continue to pray for the family of Dr. Fondrea Lewis. Y'all stop talking about what happened and what didn't happen and why this and why that. I think it's the most disrespectful thing for the heavyset woman. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I don't know who she is. Uh, never heard her name till somebody sent me the screenshot. But uh, we need to uh, learn respect uh, and, and, and let, the, let, let people grieve properly and not um, um, have so much to say when people are experiencing a great loss. Amen. We need to learn to just shut up. Uh, and what we need to do on memorial services and things like that is we need to cut off the comments. And if you're going to have something to say, have something to say at home. Don't try to do secret posts and because it's always going to be some silent somebody that's going to expose you. Amen. I love you all. Y'all have an amazing, amazing day. And uh, yeah, all right. And, and, and if you want to, if you want to call me, baby, we can talk about it. We can, we can talk about it. Uh, I, I, I have no problem in talking at all. All right. I miss seeing you too, Vincent. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. All right. I love you. God bless you all. Have a great day.